today two full sessions. Uh, all the speakers of the first session are here. And uh, the first presentation uh, <coughs> uh, is from Finland. Professor Tak Opsl, uh, the participants of many previous conference on committees. Okay, thank you, Victor and Olga. It is my pleasure to speak here about intentional human action. The title is The Conceptual Architecture of Intentional Human Action. I represent here IAAS. Abstract. The aim of this paper is to present key definitions of intentional action fulfilled with respect to the interest of other people. First, intentional ethics, moral and legislation are considered. Secondly, intentional teleology, performance and production are discussed. This all is made in order to improve the dialogue between theory and practice in conscious action. Examples are mainly drawn from architecture, which has served as a good reference in action theory. Key words can be read here. Introduction. People influence the word by means of intentional actions. Obviously, everyone dreams about harmonic existence in modern knowledge society or smart society. Cognitonics or the science about the human being in the digital world is a relatively new scientific discipline. It was formally born in the first decade of the 21st century. Its parental states of development covered the 1990s. The principal objective of cognitonics is to elaborate systemic solutions for compensating the negative implications of the broad use of computers and internet for the personality and society. In particular, the aim is to create cognitive cultural preconditions of the harmonic development of the personality in KS and for ensuring the successful development of national cultures and national languages. A precondition of harmonic existence of a person in knowledge society is acting with respect to interest of other people. That is why cognitonics pays a special attention to developing educational method and to motivating the le learners to think and act in terms of public goods. The paper analyzed the conceptual architecture of intentional human action fulfilled with respect to the interest of other people, even future generations. Intentionality, or its high degree, is often considered as a sign of human action, as known from Marx. In classical theory, intentionality is discussed under the idea of teleology, Aristotle and practical conduct related to it. We extend here this idea and postulate human action to be based on ethics and related ideas behind. We have problems of intentional action like intentional ethics, moral, legislation, intentional teleology, performance, production. The idea is natural because Aristotle presents many good examples concerning human action in his Nicomachean ethics. After him also Kikero underlines the human directionality towards future work. In modern philosophy, intentionality has many interpretations starting from directness to word. The word or being a key aspect in the possible word semantics. This can be found from Brentano or Husserl. In analytic philosophy, the turn from explanation to understanding of human actions via intentions was a milestone, as propagated by Ms. Anscombe. Architecture has served since far 
as an archetype of intentional action. The transmodern view here means that we consider the problem in question, noticing its roots besides the recent discussion. Methodologically, we present a conceptual systemic analysis of human action and thinking. The novelty of the analysis leads in notification of deep principles behind action in coherence with surface structures. Paragraph 2. Background in international action. Intentional ethics, this one. Ethics has as its main intention to give rules for better living in the world. It is throughout intentional in the sense that ethics gives the main goals for future life. We have problems. Intentional virtues, idols, avoiding of sin, intentional happiness or utility, duty, avoiding of suffering. In antiquity, ethics, virtues gave the model of right action. Among them, wisdom is the key tool to control goal setting. In collective level, symbols of good life were enlarged to contain idols. It is evident that, for example, health, salus in Latin, is an important factor in happiness. Health is a very practical intent in life. Autonomous ethics has an alternative in revealed ethics, and humans consider themselves as responsible to avoiding sin. This attitude was the main intent propagated the medieval Christian life. In utilitarianism, the best action produces maximal happiness for the greatest amount of emotional beings. This is clearly a meta-intent to be interpreted in various situations of life. The counterpart of utilitarianism in modern world was fulfilling of duty, as known from Kant. Duty typically forms an umbrella for some intent collective. The common point of all ethics can be seen in panethics, in the sense of that humans have to avoid suffering. We have shown that the basic forms of ethical attitudes are intentional, or better said, meta-intentional. The form of ethics mentioned are creations of human cognition, but also potentially related to religious beliefs. Now here in this picture we can see the famous Aristotelian ethics. It's classical, and nowadays we have huge amount of variety in ethics, like in the case of environmental ethics, discussed yesterday a little bit. Intentional moral. The intent of moral is to guide the application of ethics in our life way. We have problems, intentional task, situation, way, intentional interaction, attitude, emotional state. In our action and especially in our duties, we have clear task, which is some concrete intent par excellence. In all action, it is important to note the situation. It is our relation to or position to the world toward we are Brentano intended. We way of action is an allegory taken from traffic and movement, and it is evident that we have then in our mind the idea of some goal. Personal intents are important, but clever persons understand most of our goals can be realized in group or and cooperation or collaboration. Our intent may then be to negotiate with others about goal setting. From social, social study we know how hard it is to find out common collective goals in principle. Intentions are strongly attitude laden and then <coughs> the will is the key correlate for intent. Other attitudes are of course influencing and the second key idea 
is emotion, as we know from the concept conscience, conscientia. In the study of basic actions as movements of body, the dimensions of moral is often forgotten and vice versa. But there are, of course, exceptions. Now here, the moral application of utilitarianism is connected with architecture, as known from this Jeremy Bentham and Michael Foucault studies, but I can go not in deep there. Two, three, intentional legality. Reasonable intentions are limited by, by laws, but some of us fight even against law in order to find our, to us, better ones. In normal case, reasonable persons obey the laws of nature, but even they can be improved in theory. We have problems. Intention related to natural, logical or gestalt and societal laws. Intentions related to obligatory, plausible and forbidden cases. As said, natural law tells us what is necessary to obey in practice. Logical laws express what is necessary in cognitive sense. We perceive in certain culture things under relatively similar gestalt laws, but they are developing in the long run either. Art can influence also revolutionary in a revolutionary new way to see as propagated by Le Corbusier. The most typical way of collective guidance of personal action is expressed in societal law. In some societies, the legislation may fight. There is a good fresco in Siena telling about this bad and good government. And in this sense, civil courage can be considered as virtue as discussed above. The contradictions of collective legal intentions and personal ones can be discussed in deontology as a subspecies of modal theories. The firmness of intention is expressed with the idea of obligatory. Acceptance is considered in a qualitative sense under the choice between yes or not. In fact, a practical agent considers also what is more preferable than something else. Obligatory situations. In order to save lives, it is allowed to break some laws like traffic rules. In this sense, what is allowed and forbidden may be considered as relative. The general respect of law is, however, important as maxim, categorical imperative, from Socrates to Kant. Three, concretization of intentional action. But here, here, no, the picture, picture. Here is the picture, the law of Hammurabi. 3,500 years ago, Hammurabi believed then that the incarnation of Mesopotamian incarnation of Ammon-Ra gave him this stone in the desert. Famous situation also in Moses' case. Concretization of intentional action. Three, one, intentional teleology. We have discussed rule atmosphere behind intentional human action. This may be a very wide idea and forgotten as too evident phenomenon in discussion and even in education. Now we are able to continue and discuss the intentionality of normal standard action. It is based on goal setting. In our advanced practice, we have intentional key goals, families like intentional epistemics, aesthetics, ethics, intentional ecologics, ergonomics, economics. As Kikero has told, the passion to see truth is typical for man. Whether it is possible is another problem. 
truth is too a go independent of achieving it this is means truthfulness is a value that we have to go toward for man it is evidently clear that we consider aesthetics more valuable than lack of it sensual death is terrible in certain sense aesthetics may be seen more fundamental than epistemology like Rose has said and we discussed yesterday after that it is possible to prefer pleasure and avoid suffering in setting intentions it is often important to sacrifice something in order to get something more valuable such contradictions are typical challenges in ethical life the intentionality of ethics is discussed already above to save own life is by nature the key principle of beings then con contradictions of groups and species in the competition of life should be solved in ethically sustainable manner humans have great responsibility in respect of the destiny of earth and biodiversity sometimes ecology has been underestimated like in the time of industrialism today humans have awakened it is good but we have to avoid vulgar proposals humans have the right to develop ergonomics in the sense of creating facilities for more honest economy economy is often seen too much of the question of efficiency or wrongly understood if we see the efficiency depending on both quality and saving of resources we are mainly on the right road the key idea of economy is that economic agent has the freedom of activity if he or she does not violate the rights of others as propagated by Chudenius in Finland before Adam Smith then it may be considered also the rights of animals plants and microbes even somehow three aha hey hey taka kuva here we have examples of goal profiles kikero gave these goals for architects then vitruvius gave quite similar goals and here we have the key book of architects intentions in architects is very important book written by christian norberg sulk in 1960s No, sitten mennään seuraavaan. Three to intentional performance. No, this is performance. In action there may be separated clear goal setting and soft goal setting during production as typical for example in creative action and improvisation. You might change the goal somehow. There are also differences in knowledge based goal setting and the tacit way. In this sense, the dynamic production of art serves as good model also for the performance of actions in general. We have cases uh, taken from in garden. Intentional idea, notation, concretization of action, intentional realization, materialization and actualization of action in intentional action we need a guiding idea as in art a normal agent can utilize notations as inspired by art and every day we use notebooks a lot of action is con concretized in the normal sense of the word when we gather concrete tools to facilitate the act intentional realization of, of action refers to the logical kuva, logical conduct plan in order to re, re, realize the act acts are materialized in body movements when the body is considered as matter only this is of course a very limited view but possible as abstract abstraction abstraction Uh, we know all the behavioralism approach the realization in human reality 
means that we actualize action in mind and are able to give cognitive explanations and we have to mention here cognitonics especially. Three, three, intentional production. The idea Oliko siellä nyt se kuva, oliko tässä välissä? Okei. Okay. Intentional production. The idea of producing actions of living persons is related to complex reality of human body and mind. In most cases, people abstract and simplify the production of material things and artifacts. In systems methodology, there has been developed formal tools of production of all kinds of expression. We have problems known many from Chomsky, Noam Chomsky, intentional start symbol, non-terminal, terminal, intentional, meta rule, production rule, outcome. In order to make abstracted intentional acts of acting or producing, we need some knowledge about when and how to start. This subkoal is typically symbolized by start symbol like base stone, stone in building. We put first base stone and start. A huge amount of gestalt aid is needed in production. Some of them can never be seen directly in the product and they are called non-terminals. In other part of symbolic tools, the other part is called terminal. A standard agent often does not know exactly his her meta rules in action and this part is introduced from the subconscious. One other explanation is that a collective can own this wisdom but a single agent can in a clear way. In intentional action, we are supposed that the agent sets some production rules in order to get indented products, and they are the rationalized part. This refers to the right performance of expected, for example, in sport and techniques. In practice, the outcome are acceptable, wrong, or simply emergently new ones to be accepted after special consideration. And then. I have a couple of short discussions here. We can maybe time, okay? Discussion A. The word of intention. One basic meaning of intention is to be directed to word world. Then the idea of possible word became, becomes close because we do not know exactly our targets. Under collective knowledge, it is possible to speak about physical, biological, psychological world, sociological, semiological, anthropological world. Physical and biological words as targets of science are supposed to exist independent of the existence of man. In certain case, in certain sense, even they are man-related. The study of intention starts from biology but culminates in psychology. The development of human mind is bound to the surrounding society and the theory of intention has to be enlarged to collective dimension as developed by Raimo Tuomela, my teacher. Intentions are language and those intention related as well. Finally, highly developed goals and value systems are typical for man, especially if we expect a linguistic representation of them. Today, humans have access to knowledge via internet and the word may be related with knowledge listed above. The word concept then vary a lot between individuals and collectives and the idea of word is both intentional and intentional also in this sense. Intentional action in planning aims to improve the word 
and search not only third time possible words, but in, in practice we search the best possible word as propagated by Plato, Bonaventura in medieval times and Leibniz in modern times. In architecture, the importance of word and cosmos has been understood several thousand years, but here is a modern account, Stephen Tulmin Cosmopolis, very interesting book. And here we can see that in normal life we are not generating the whole word, working with the whole word, but uh, certain professions have subcategories, like in architecture, the categorization has started by, from Socrates, but I have continued it a little bit. Environment, space, milieu, building, city, artifact, and this city is discussed here. And then, the last paragraph. Discussion B, intentional action and therapy. In order to improve our action and via it our word, we have to know what intentional action is in its directness, directedness toward the word. Secondly, it is essential to know that a thera what therapy is. Intentional action therapy consists of intentional action related to health ideal, diagnosis, improvement plan. Intentional action related to operation, test, metabolism or metanoesis. We have discussed what health intentional action is. Ideally it is subordinated to ethics and conscience and tools not only on shortcut goal setting like in quartal economy. Human action is self-diagnostic. Intentionality as a tool to consider alternatives renders it possible to compare ideals and realism. Then it is possible to make improvement plans. The skill to plan things manifested first of all in architecture is a natural reason why architecture is the standard example in action theory. Other good examples include medical therapy of course. Man should all the time be prepared to cut away non-healthy features and worse parts of our action. In this sense, human action should be critical and self-correcting. Know yourself better and better all the time. Intentions should be tested and the totality of action as well. In scientific explanation of bodily movements and standard reasons, we expect metabolism even in the brain, whereas, <coughs> whereas in more developed analysis and synthesis, the concern is cognitonic metanoesis. Six conclusions. We have shown what intentional action is when we open the idea of human action to contain more or less subconscious levels of control. Behind the rational consideration guiding our acts. Consciousness can be partial due to the lack of knowledge or for memory reasons in the sense that the basis of action is deep in our mind and actions are made as based on intuition and emotion. It is important to make a difference between body movement and causality dependent basic action theory and deeper action theory noticing collectively created traditional frames of action starting from ethics. Among causal theories there is also a different depending, difference depending on the interpretation of causality as real or teleological. Here is then acknowledgments when I thank this institute and Cognitonis organization. Thank you. Thank you.
So as for ethical, me, my so just as talk about ethical problems in this way, if uh, just as we discussed last time, we may focus on higher personality development. Yes. And as we have discussed, we try not to split uh, the uh, just ecology from education, mm -hmm. uh, from just development of personality, mm -hmm. not to put a person into a cave, but just uh, to have that real world. Will it be so kind to tell? Uh, just ears for digital space in general. Whether it uh, just whether it uh, um, helps uh, um, uh, to put together uh, just uh, avoiding um, uh, avoiding cultural differences, people from um, different cultures. Whether it helps because ethics mm, practically is the main problem of communication. Yeah. So just if we understand uh, the main rules, then just as possible. Uh, just uh, to be together and to speak about that uh, digital space is the greatest advantage the humans have discovered. Okay, thank you. Let's keep us in Athens, so near the cave. And, and this is very important question. Uh, this ad action theory can be applied to education and vice versa. We can speak about education of human intentional action. And then these problems come in the front. Uh, Socrates was thinking this problem and he believed first that it is possible to educate virtues. But the cultural background spoils the whole thing. Not the whole, but partially. So he said that when he came older, he did not believe on the teaching of virtues because he has has seen how badly the best teachers of Athens have not, they have not succeeded in the case of the children of Pericles. So what is the solution? It is the intentional part. It is possible to teach references and how to see the word correctly. But when we take our personal background, it makes the situation different. And if we come from different cultures, there is a problem of communication and, and this is the reason why we are here because we have solved somehow this problem. This is one of the key problems of mankind and even especially today because traveling is so intensive. Okay, extensive also. Thank you. Is it was his answer or? Yeah. No, you are. Please, next speaker.